Good morning, shortly after nine o'clock on this uh, Thursday morning. And I tell you what, if you don't like the sunny, warm to hot weather, then please do everything you can to enjoy today because that heat, the bright sunshine really gets going on Friday. Um, I've got the hottest temperatures of the bunch on Monday, Tuesday. Right now I'm going 94 Monday, 96 Tuesday. I I'm watching forecast models that seem to be hinting that one of those days, maybe both could be closer to 100 degrees. So uh, just keep updated. Certainly we're looking at uh, a couple of days of perhaps record heat uh, for this time of the year. Anyway, it looks like the rain chance for most of us is over. There's still thick cloud cover at the coast, some traces of rain up north of Vancouver showing up on the radar. But for the most part, we're seeing some sun breaks pop, certainly from Vancouver southward, and will start to become partly cloudy during the day. And there could be an 80 even this afternoon. So this turns out to be a nice day as we see the weather transition. Uh, there could be some morning clouds Friday morning come up the Columbia River Gap. So that's downtown Portland, Vancouver. Could be some low clouds. Hillsboro, a better chance of waking up to clear skies. Salem, a better chance of waking up to clear skies. Uh, if we get those low clouds, they'll break, and the afternoon will be just a beautiful sunny day with the temperatures warming up to about 88 degrees. Uh, July 4th, still looks like the westerlies start to kick in slowly Wednesday of next week. That would cool us down closer to 80 on Thursday and keep us around 80 with dry weather, I think, for the entire upcoming July 4th, uh, four-day weekend. July 4th, of course, on a Thursday. Whew. Here it comes, the heat. I'll talk to you soon.